Salutations, mortals and children of the night. I'm the Vampire Otaku. And I want to interrupt Spooky Month because I saw an anime movie in theaters, which I love so much. I love seeing anime on the big screen. I saw an anime called Blue Giant. Let me show it to you. So those are the mangas of Blue Giant. I saw the movie which covers those 10 volumes of those five omnibuses. Blue Giant is an experience. The animation, the movie was absolutely incredible. The lighting, the characters' expressions, the music was sublime. Um, I think my only gripe about it was the small moments of CGI. They were kind of clunky. They weren't really done that smoothly, but everything else looked really beautiful. Um, also, the the expression of the manga was translated really well to the big screen. The voice actors were excellent. Um, I I kind of want to give spoilers, but I don't want to give too many big ones. But I will say that main character plays saxophone. He meets a guy that plays piano. They hit it off, they both have really strong personalities. They both have really big dreams. The only thing that I really didn't like about this movie was the fact that you just get dropped right into the main character, Dai, um, leaving his hometown and going to Tokyo. And the manga, and I understand the movie was like two hours, so I didn't really have enough time to cover everything. But it did a really good job of covering the most important parts. I will say that. However, the beginning, when he met his music teacher, how many hours he spent practicing every day, the bruises on his hands, the calluses that he developed, you got to see all of that and it built Die Up as a character and it built up a few other characters that kind of just pop up in a movie and you don't care about them as much because they didn't have any type of build up or any type of uh, development because they weren't there. This movie is definitely for people who have read the manga. If you haven't experienced the manga, some of the characters that just don't hold the weight that they should. That being said, what happens towards the end of the movie, this is kind of a spoiler. I'm not gonna give the spoiler, but just expecting something crazy to happen. It hits hard on a big screen. Like I was in a the theater crying I was like, wow. I mean, it was already impressive how big and powerful they made Dai saxophone sound because in the manga panels, you have the art that was expressing how powerful his sound was. But in the movie, they had to actually show his power, his unorthodox way of playing, which was amazing. You just got to see all the characters' personalities shine when they were upset, when they were annoyed, when they were happy. When they were disappointed, you got to see all their inner turmoils and their inner conflicts and their outer conflicts as well. And the studio did an amazing job taking an amazing manga. I still think the manga is better. <laughs> That's something people always say they're into manga. When we read the manga, the manga is better. But in this case, yes, it is. But it's not better by much. It simply just has stronger character development. And I still think the art is a little bit better. Like the movie looks incredible, but it doesn't hold a candle to the manga. This is probably one of the prettiest mangas that I've ever read as far as the art. It shows movement, it shows shows fluidity, it shows action in a way that Initial D does, which is an iconic manga within itself. So yeah, basically this movie moved me to tears. And if you are a fan of music, if you're a fan of anime, if you're a fan of things that can get you emotional or that can make you feel something, this is the last day to check this movie out in theaters. I highly implore you to do it. I just had to take a break to talk about it because a lot of my friends don't even know it exists. So hopefully some of you guys out there on the 
land of the internet know about it or want to learn about it. I just wanted to rant and talk about it because it was that good. That being said, we'll get back to our normal spooky schedule. We'll, I'm getting some more decorations and whatnot and I've been reading as much as I can with the time allotted, you know, working a full-time job and whatnot. And I'm just super excited about Samhain, Halloween. It's a great time of year. All the leaves are falling. The weather is getting a lot cooler. Things are changing. It's it's interesting. With that rant and ramble out of the way, um, thank you so much for watching yet another video. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.